What's up guys, Ralph here, Fugatech. And smartphones these days are equipped with either a pop-up selfie camera, a notch, or a punch hole cutout on a display. It does take some time to get used to these cutouts and notches, as sometimes it takes a huge space which feels a little bit intrusive in watching media contents. We have seen concept from other brands about an under-display front camera, but ZTE made it first available in the market, introducing the ZTE Axon 25G. So without any further ado, let's go and unbox the first under-display camera device that is available in the market. Now opening up the box, we are greeted with the phone itself. That is another box that contains your SIM ejector tool, manuals, and a warranty card, and of course, a free jelly case. Below that are a pair of boxes containing your 30 watt fast charging brick, a Type-C to 3.5mm jack dongle, a USB Type-C cable for charging and data transfers. The device feels premium to the touch thanks to its glass back panel. Also here at the back, you can find the quad rear camera setup and a ZTE and Accent 5G branding. Located on the right side are the volume rockers and a textured sleep-wake button. Nothing can be found on the left, microphone at the top, while at the bottom are the hybrid dual SIM card tray, a USB Type-C port, calm microphone, and a speaker grill. Up front, we have a massive 6.92 inches OLED 90 hertz panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2460 and has a pixel density of 388 ppi. Up top is the under display selfie camera, which the portion of the screen where the under display camera is located can be a little bit pixelated and is quite noticeable when watching media contents on this device. But still, it is a little better than having a cutout or a notch on the display. We'll explore more on that in our full review, so stay tune for that. Now checking out the call speaker, it is located underneath the display again which vibrates to transmit the sound to your ear making the display look seamless. Now powering the ZTE Axon 25G is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G coupled with an Adreno 620 GPU, up to 8GB of RAM, and up to 256GB of internal storage. When it comes to performance, it can handle light to moderate task. Gaming on the other hand is pretty average, there are slight frame drops, and can be hot to the touch at times. Now running on this device is ZTE's Mi Favor 10.5 based on Android 10. It looks clean and close to stock Android which is a plus. Now taking a look at the cameras, the ZTE Action 25G packs a quad rear camera setup consisting of a 64 megapixel primary, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Up front we have the 32 megapixel under display selfie camera, but we will reserve our full thoughts about these sensors in our full review, but for now enjoy these sample shots. Juicing up this device is a 4220mAh battery with support for 30W fast charging, which on paper can charge this device from 0 to 60% in just 30 minutes, which is up to par by today's standards. Official pricing in the Philippines is yet to be announced, but we expect it to be around 21,500 pesos. We will explore more about the ZTE Axon 25G in our full review, so stay tuned for that. For now, what do you guys think about the under-display camera technology? Are you interested in getting one? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Aurel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.